Mueller. Joe Concha watches an awful lot of television. He writes about media for The Hill, and he joins us mm-hmm. tonight. Joe, is it my imagination, or did once again the Speaker of the House deliver the talking point that everyone on cable news eagerly took up and repeated? I think you're seeing a pattern here, Tucker. I remember back in January, the term manufactured crisis was used to talk about what was going on at the U.S. southern border. And then you heard over and over, dozens upon dozens of times, and not just from one network, but different networks, different anchors or pundits or guests using that same exact term to the word, manufactured crisis. Now, sure enough, as we know, and even the New York Times admits, uh, it's no longer a manufactured crisis at the border. That's a real thing. Story for another time. And then we had the other crisis, which was the constitutional crisis. And that was two weeks ago when Bill Barr, after he testified in front of the Senate, decided not to do so with the House when they changed the rules around as far as White House, as far as staffers being able to question him, which had never happened in Congress before. And he said, this is going to be a circus. No, thanks. I'm not going to show up. So that became a constitutional crisis. And Pelosi says that as well. And sure enough, uh, the Media Research Center, and I get they're conservative, but the numbers here are usually accurate. They found that between May 8th and May 12th, that on ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, and MSNBC, that that exact term, constitutional crisis, was uttered 386 times. (laughs) I'm not very good at math, but I'm pretty sure... That's more than 70 times if you average it out per network. So, yeah, it goes out one mouth. It comes out another mouth. And now here we are with cover up. And that will be the next new constitutional crisis as far as terms that we hear over and over but, again, uh, as if it's a echo on. chamber. Is it we're entering campaign season? There's a presidential campaign in progress already. At some point, these are campaign finance violations. These are television networks donating to presidential campaigns to a party and not declaring it. I, that would be very interesting to see that case be made, perhaps. But no, it just seems to be that uh, people are taking their cues from one party in this business and not the other, particularly from Pelosi. And look, I, I wanted to hear some reporters yell at her the way that Trump is yelled at. What cover up are you specifically talking about? Who's involved in this cover up? Is Bob Mueller involved in this cover up? Because he's been reluctant yes. to testify to this point. So is he also part of the cover up that in- now includes, I believe, Bill? Bill Barr, Don McGahn, Cato Kalin, the White House chef. I mean, who else is involved in this deep conspiracy of people who otherwise probably don't like the president that much, but are willing to put their careers on the line to cover up for him? It's it's quite comical on some level, actually. It is kind of amazing. I hope we get to the bottom of it. I know there are Russians there somewhere. Joe, thank you. Good to see you. Well, Kamala Harris says that if she's elected president, her administration will 